Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and sign up for notifications so that you can see future videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this and find it helpful today. So my lesson today is on exponents and what are they? So today, students will write expressions using integer exponents and students will also evaluate expressions involving integer exponents. Our question today that I want you thinking about as we proceed through the lesson is how can you use exponents to represent numbers? So let's go over some key vocabulary words before we begin. So this right here is an expression that we call a power. A raised to the exponent n. The whole expression is an exponent. A is our base. N is our exponent. So a base raised to an exponent is a power. Let's a few more words. So a power, what is a power? It's a product of repeated factors. The base of a power is the common factor. What is a factor? It's a number or quantity that when multiplied with another produces a given number or expression. So when you hear or see the word factor, automatically know that it's meaning multiplication. An exponent tells the number of times to multiply the base by itself. So let's look at this. We have a power, 4 cubed, or 4 to the third. 4 is the base, 3 is the exponent. So our base is going to be multiplied by itself 3 times. And those are our repeated factors, 4 times 4 times 4. When we multiply our product of our repeated factors, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. So let's talk about parentheses. Parentheses are really, really important when you have powers. So if there aren't parentheses, then that exponent is only attached to the number there, okay? So if there's parentheses, then this base is negative 3. But this is really negative 1. So there's an invisible 1 here. If you haven't watched my invisible 1 video, I hope you'll do so. Here we have a fraction, but the whole fraction is not being squared, just the numerator. And then here, our base is a fraction because it's inside the parentheses. So I would like you to take a try at simplifying each of these expressions. Go ahead and pause the video and come back and hit play when you're ready to review your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first one, we have negative 1 multiplied by 3 squared. Remember, there weren't parentheses trapping that negative sign. So the base is not negative 3. The base is only 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. Here, we have a base of negative 3, and we want to repeatedly multiply it twice. Negative 3, negative 3. So I have two negative 3s being multiplied, and their product is positive 9. Here, my numerator is 2 times 2, 4, and my denominator is 3. Here, our base is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds times 2 thirds, which is 2 times 2 for our numerator and 3 times 3 for our denominator, giving us a value of 4 ninths. Sometimes we can have symbols and variables in our exponential expressions. Here we're going to leave pi symbol as pi because that's more exact than saying that it's equivalent to 3.14 and a lot neater to write. So I would like you to do two things. I would like you to rewrite each of these expressions using exponents and then I would like you to evaluate the expressions to simplify them. So go ahead and pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So this would be pi cubed because there's three pi's and there's four x's. So 3 for the pi, 4 for the base x. Pi cubed, x to the fourth. 
Here I have two twos and three x's. Two squared is four, so I have four multiplied by x cubed. You don't need to put the multiplication sign when you have a coefficient. All right, I have one two, which we don't have to write that one, it's invisible, two threes, and two y's. So now I need to simplify two times three squared. Three squared is nine, nine times two is 18, so I have 18 y squared. Here I have two a's and three b's, and that's as simplified as you can get. A squared, and remember this is a squared multiplied by b cubed. The multiplication sign is invisible. All right, I would like you to evaluate both of these expressions. Go ahead and pause and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So did you remember about the invisible one? So this is negative one because there's no parentheses here. So my base is not negative three, my base is three. So this power, this is really negative one to a power three to the fourth. So the base is positive three and the exponent's four. Three to the fourth is 81. 81 times negative one is negative 81. Now let's check this one. This one, our base is negative three. So that means we're multiplying negative three by itself repeatedly four times. And remember, negative three times negative three is positive nine. Another positive nine and nine times nine is 81. So here our answer is positive 81 and here our answer is negative 81. So be mindful of looking for these parentheses. Try this one. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So did you remember the invisible one? Here we go, we have negative one multiplied by the power two to the fourth. Remember, there are no parentheses, so the base of the power here is two. Two to the fourth is 16. 16 times negative one is negative 16. Over here, our base, this is in parentheses, so our base is one third. So this is repeatedly one-third times one-third, two times. One times one is one, and then the denominator is three times three is nine. So simplified, we have one-ninth. Try these, remember order of operations, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide in order from left to right, and then add and subtract in order from left to right. Good luck, go ahead and pause. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So inside our absolute value symbols, we have a base of positive three. Positive three cubed is 27 multiplied by that invisible negative one. So now that I've cleared the exponents, I'm on to multiplying and dividing in order from left to right. Negative 27 divided by positive 27 is negative one. Now I can simplify the absolute value and the absolute value of negative one is positive one. Over here, the first thing I'm gonna do, there's no parentheses, so I'm going on to exponents. So I'm gonna simplify two to the fifth, which is 32. Next step is multiply and divide in order from left to right. So I'm gonna do 32 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is 16. Now I can subtract. Remember, add the opposite. So nine add negative 16 is negative seven. And that's exponents and what they are. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Have a great day.